So I thought I'd film uh, some of these Unimogs, especially uh, this Unimog here on the left. This Unimog was modified um, for doing a, like a high altitude mountain climb in Argentina. Uh, and the reason I'm kind of filming it is because they lifted the back on it and they kind of raised the cab a bit. And that gives a really good opportunity to look at the kind of principles of a Unimog. Um, to give you an idea, that's a modified vehicle. And this one right here is pretty much stock. So these are both Unimog U5023s, the silver ones. Um, again, even the stock truck is, is quite impressive. Um, but I'm gonna go over to this one here because it definitely gives a good idea of um, some of the suspension things that make Unimogs uh, unique. So as we kind of come over here and look at this, uh, you can kind of get an idea. This thing has crazy ground clearance. I want to say the tires, you don't measure these in inches anymore. They're like four and a half feet, maybe. Um, maybe even a little more than that. Anyway, the Unimogs, for the most part, all have kind of gearboxes in the middle. So that's where the gearbox is on this one and even on older Unimogs, it tends to be, they either have a very long bell housing or they have a drive shaft so that the gearbox is kind of centrally located. That helps keep the suspension equal on both sides. And when you look at this suspension, one of the unique aspects of a Unimog is the uh, torque tubes. And not many vehicles have torque tubes. Um, and I don't think any four wheel drive vehicles other than the Unimog use torque tubes front and rear. That's the torque tube running here. So as you can see, that's the gearbox in the middle there. And then attached to the gearbox is the torque tube. The torque tube goes down and that's attached to the rear differential. And these are solid axles on Unimogs. So this is actually not a suspension piece here. That's just attached to the axle and the torque tube. And what that piece does is it just adds bracing to the, to the, um, to the axle, but it doesn't, it's not a suspension component. There's no like bushings or wear and tear on that. Uh, so what happens is this torque tube does a couple of things. One thing it does, um, is it encases the drive shaft. So you have no exposed UJ joints or anything like that. And as a matter of fact, there is no UJ joint here. There's only one there. But what the torque tube does is it can go from side to side so that the axle can go from side to side and it can go up and down so that the axle can go up and down. What it does though is it prevents the axle from moving forwards and backwards. It, it places the axle. So instead of using like trailing arms that would normally come off of the suspension, you use the torque tube. There are a lot of advantages to this. It's very strong. Um, and also it doesn't distort the, the, the axle. The axle can only go like that. Whereas if you have springs here, they tend to want, get tension on them and they, you, you get a hop. So you'll see that on a lot of vehicles, they start to kind of bunny hop and that's because the, um, the springs are getting um, internally stressed. And then on independent suspension or on axles that have kind of coil springs instead usually have arms. Those arms kind of make the axle do weird things, like it, it gets weird angles. Um, and none of that is an issue with a torque tube. So that's the primary reason the torque tube is used. It's also simpler. There are no bushings to go. There are no spring leafs that like wear out. Um, so it gives you a very simple, extremely rugged suspension that doesn't rely on a lot of bushes and things like that. So the next thing on Unimogs is you've got coil springs. All of these Unimogs have coil springs, um, front and rear. So again, usually big heavy duty trucks like this have leaf springs, but the Unimog has coils. The other thing is the portal hubs. So the portal hubs basically allow, do two things. They give you more ground clearance at your differential and they also put less 
strain on the rest of the drivetrain going upstream. So to kind of look at this, as you can see, right there is the axle, and that's where the axle shaft goes, but that's coming in, you know, up high on the tire, and then the center is actually lower. So you've raised the whole axle up. Again, that's the, that's the hub right there. So when you look at this, I can't really get back. You can see that the axle's coming in on the top third of the tire instead of right down the middle. So everything gets lifted and that gives you a uh, better ground clearance. And again, it also reduces the, um, the stress that goes on the rest of the drivetrain. So those are kind of three components uh, that make that, that are part of the Unimog system that have been part of Unimog since, you know, the very first ones in the late 40s, early 50s. So that's just a quick overrun on the torque tube, the coil springs, and the portal hubs. Just thought that might be useful.